Right, so when you first open the Stellar Phoenix photo recovery software, and we've got the latest version 3 here, um, you'll see it's a very, very simple interface, very easy to use. Um, th there's not really a lot to it, but the power that's behind it is absolutely incredible. Now what it'll do here, if you look on the left hand side, it will give you a list of all of the hard drives that are attached to your computer, whether they're internal, external, connected by USB or Firewire ports. Um, also it will tell you which compact flash cards you've got attached using um, just the USB cable and it will also show you if there's any dongles, you know the one gigabyte dongles that you use to transfer data from computer to computer. Now the one we want here is this, it's the it's a one gigabyte compact flash card and you can see there 983 megabytes of memory and it's a card that I very rarely use and I only use it as a kind of backup or if I know I'm only going to be taking a very few photos um, and I know that this has been formatted, it's been cleared and the, the whole card is completely empty and devoid of photos at the moment but what you need to do, let's say this was a card you've accidentally deleted um, and you need to recover those files you just double click on the file on the hard drive and it gives you two options you've got the standard photo recovery and then create an image by creating an image it will just create a, um, an image of that card at this time and it does it by sector by sector and it takes maybe about 40 minutes to create that but it will speed up the photo recovery now I've already done that so let's just go ahead straight away and you, you, you can just do the photo recovery so let's just do that if we click on photo recovery the next page will give you which file types you're looking for now because I've only used Canon for the last few years I know this card's only been in a Canon camera and I know it's only shot raw photos I'm going to delete everything that isn't Canon or raw so if we get rid of all the Nikon Olympus Sony Kodak get rid of all these files um, obviously if you're using Minolta, Pentax or Nikon you would just keep those ones selected if you're unsure of what the card's been used for and who's used the card then keep all of them checked but I shoot raw so I know there's no JPEG images on there or TIFFs or bitmap or GIFs there's no music files on there, no WAV files let's just get rid of everything apart from the, the Canon RAW photos and then we can just do a quick scan, let's have a look, get rid of all of those and this actually helps speed up the, the process as well, if you're only looking for RAW files the program will know what to do so we've just got Canon RAW selected, so if we click OK the pro program will now start to look through um, all of the photos it will go through the card and it'll take about 20 minutes to actually go through a one gigabyte card um, so let's let that run and then come back and see what's happened okay so here we are the uh, the software is finished working and you can see it's now found <clears throat> a total of 955 megabytes on the file and 78 files or photographs which is pretty good and you can see the first one here it's brought up a thumbnail and I should point out that when you see all of these photos appear they are just thumbnails at the moment the, the software hasn't actually recovered them in full it's just showing you what's actually available and it's quite a handy feature to have because you you won't always want to recover all the photos on there uh, for example these ones I've already downloaded and used anyway so I don't I've got the originals on file I don't need them but if we have a look through um, I'm going to select that one because I'm going to recover it just to show you the date um, but if, as we go through you can see there's more on here these are some photos I took of um, of my in-laws house uh, a few weeks ago um, but they've already been deleted and got rid of but if we go right to the very end oh sorry here we go these are the mid ones these are some that I took in Spain about six months ago um, of some friends uh, children out there so again they were deleted they're long gone they've got the originals the originals on another file here is back up these have been deleted and formatted way before so it's managed to find those but if we go back even further I found some photos here that I know were taken a long time ago because my son's quite a bit older than this now so if I just grab hold of one of those and recover that as well we're just going to pick one of the oldest ones that it's found and the latest image that it's found now there's various options you can either um, recover all the photos on the disk and we don't want to do that uh, we want to select this option here which is recover just the selected items now I've already chosen a, a folder for it to go to so if I just click this um, we'll go into that folder not that one, let's have a look click recovery we'll put it in there and click OK now it's just going to recover those two photos to the hard drive and it will be in the original raw format that I can open into Photoshop so once that's done I'll come back and we can check those files out right so that's done if we go to the folder you can see 
both photos here. Um, so let's have a look at the the latest one first. I think if we click on that, it should open up in Photoshop. There you go. Um, so if we just open that entirely, you see that's the original photo that I took just a couple of weeks ago. It's been uh, deleted long ago, but it's if we do Control Alt Zero, you can see it's in full resolution. Everything's there in glorious Technicolor, so it's recovered that photo well. If I just do Control Alt Shift and I, it will bring up the EXIF data, which is the data stored in the photo itself taken with a 5D on the 8th of October 2008 so we know that's the photo I took fairly recently so if we close that one down and then look at the other one that we took from the recovered photos this is the one that's quite a bit older so if I open this folder now you can see once again it's all there the the photos there in its full entirety if I do control alt shift and I again and look at the EXIF data you can see that it was taken with a 20D Canon 20D that I sold a few years ago uh, sorry a couple of years ago and it was taken on the 8th of January 2006 so it's managed to find a photo that's nearly three years old and recovered it in full even though that card has been formatted and deleted a few times so this is amazing it's a great bit of software and even if you haven't got a problem now with any uh, cards or hard drives it's worth having this especially for the cost it's worth having this bit of software on your computer so that if you or your family or friends or anyone you know has a problem you know that you can get hold of that card get hold of that hard drive and recover those photos pretty easily the whole interface for this uh, software is very straightforward very easy to use and I totally recommend that you get hold of a copy now okay thanks very much for watching